Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to another video. Well, there's a lot of people, you know, that just been asking me about what kind of radio screen I have on my car. Uh, this is a 10.1 inch quad core processor. Uh, it, it was just like Android, it's Android system. Uh, the back is just like a double DIN. It's just the screen, you know, that is a 10.1. The cool fixtures about this one is that it has GPS uh, it has uh, mirror screen like you can project whatever you're watching on your phone to your uh, to your screen it has well I bought this separately is the OBD2 uh, it's, uh, adapt uh, uh, it's like an OBD2 sensor adapter that you just put it and uh, uh, just by a Bluetooth signal, you know, it communicates with the device and it communicates with the radio. I'm about, I'm gonna install this right now just so you guys can see. See, like once I connect my OBD2 uh, connector tool, I just go into the OBD2 check. It, it can actually read, you know, like real time, you know, your RPMs, turbo, like. It has, it has its spaces, you know, for the oil pressure. And since it communicates directly with the uh, ECU, now the ECU can like virtually, you know, tell you how many boosts, how many pounds of boost you're boosting. But this is pretty cool. This is a radio that only costs less than $300, $270. You just gotta install it. I do not know how to install it. I did all the, uh, all the speakers, you know, in my car. Uh, they actually charged me like $200, you know, just to redo all speakers, all the sound system, you know, in the car. So, it's Bluetooth, you know, like I told you. Uh, it has more fixtures, you know, but the cool one, the coolest one that I know is like when I'm driving, you know, I just like to have all my gauges, you know, showing up. And it kind of like, because I wanted the, uh, there's a little gauge that goes right here I don't remember the company but as you can see it's fully functional it's, it's not like uh, it's just to show as long as you connect the, the OBD2 tool see that's the OBD2 tool is connected it's reading it's working with the car And if you want to read the codes of the car, you can too, like let's say fall codes, so that, you see, it tells me that I have a P0102 powertrain mass or volume airflow circuit, low input. So I know I have that problem because of my tune, oh, I don't know what the hell is going, with, uh, going on with the car, but I will fix it. Check engine light is due to the mass airflow sensor. Is that's because I have it on plug? Uh, probably need a new one. Uh, all this ones right here. I can't really like. I mean, this is pretty cool. All the things that this thing has. But you know, that's. I can't really like. It's not really much to show you about this uh, uh, radio system. It's just like I told you, it's a quad core processor, 10.1 inch radio, you know, it's just from uh, Android, Android operating systems. Uh, I have had the car, you know, for as long as I've been fixing the car, haven't really dropped the car, uh, probably like three months, and you know, still working really good. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you like it, and you know, and I hope this answers you know many of the questions that you guys have. And I'll see you on my next video.